Hello. Oh, hi, it's me, uh, Dan Winslow. I'm here with presidential speculatainment dot com slash uh, the podcast. And uh, oh, we've got some developments and we've got some more of the same. Of course, now with Bobby Jindal in the race, making number 13, we have a not fully formed uh, list of Republicans that includes Jeb Bush, Ben Carson, Ted Cruz, Carly Fiona, Lindsey Graham, Mike Huckabee, Bobby Jindal, George Pataki, Rand Paul, Rick Perry, Marky Rubio, Rick Santorum, and Donald Trump. We've got the Democrats, so it's a little more boring, uh, which is uh, uh, Lincoln Chafee, uh, Martin O'Malley, Bernie Sanders, uh, and uh, Hillary Rodham uh, Clinton. And uh, as you may have guessed, not only have some new uh, horses jumped in the race, but we've got a few new facts to report to you about some of the old ones right now. Okay, so the big question I'm sure I'm sure you've already uh, must have just guessed this, but the big question is not about the Democratic uh, nomination. You know why? Because they're they're giving me nothing. All right, I I really am not inspired with a whole lot of uh, new kind of uh, earth shattering content. Uh, to report on with uh, what's happening with the Democrats. It's just the classic. I was going to say, it's like the David and Goliath story. So it's like we've all, we we know that story actually. And we do like that story. But it's more like the David and Goliath story during, um, you know, a, a, a stone shortage in, in that region. So, like I said, uh, the Democrats, not really giving us much. I did learn how to pronounce Lincoln Ch- Chafee's name. Chafee? No, wait. Never mind, I did not. Um, more on that later on. Uh, back to the Republicans, uh, who are now at 13. Now, recall this. Speaking of that book... The disciples of old and homeboy Jesus made a total of 13. So I implore this question. Which one is Jesus? Is it Jesus Bush? Jesus Carson? All right, I'm not going to do that for everyone. Uh, In any case, uh, the Republicans still are doing what they do. Which, uh, lately, that seems like just, I don't know, throwing more irons in the fire. Seeing if anyone, any of them turn into, uh, I don't know, some kind of, like, mut- mutant Mitt Romney. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's the best they could hope for. Um... So, but the the question, the big question with the Republicans, back to the original premise, is governor or senator, um, parentheses, or Trump, close parentheses. So, uh, Donald Trump is now in the race, which I admit, it would be fun to do a whole podcast on that. Uh, what I can tell you is that I, I did, um, do an article about that event, historic event, um, otherwise known as the Trump announcement. And you can take a look at that at presidentialspeculatainment.com. And, uh, so he's not a governor or a senator. And some of these other guys and gals are not either. 
but some of them are. Some of them are. And the question among primary voters and the pundits love to uh, have this debate when they're not talking about, you know, Caitlyn Jenner or, uh, I don't know, whatever the flavor of the week is. Well, what's a, what's a governor got that a senator doesn't have? And what's a senator got that a governor doesn't have? You know, but we do have Cruz... Um, got uh, Ron, uh, Rand Paul and Marco Rubio. We got three senators in the game, but we got a we got a good list of former governors. We got Jeb Bush. Uh, oh, there's Lindsey Graham. He's a senator, right? Uh, Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas. George Pataki, former governor of New York. Rick Perry, Texas. Oh, Rick Santorum is a former senator. You know, it's like former senator. What what was former governor is? I think it's a better mark on a resume than former senator, right? Active senator, at least it's like you know I'm voting for stuff. But that's also their Achilles' heel because a former governor doesn't, uh, you know, have to uh, get grilled on uh, current decisions during the campaign. Whereas if you're serving in the Senate. Uh, you know, people are going to scrutinize your decisions, which are going to be popping up and you don't know what uh, bills are going to get introduced. And uh, so I think actually the biggest advantage is being a former governor. Um, And I I did just list kind of broke down how, how it's going, but just to close, I will say that there are three other guys that, that people think is likely. And those people being, uh, insiders or uh you know some of those dc staffers who you know are all kind of you know uh narcoleptic types uh you know and they sort of leak stuff to the to the news reporters and we've got three current or uh or past governors um, who are, anyways, people think they're going to get in the race in the Republican field, right? So we've got um, Scott Walker over in Wisconsin, current governor. Uh, they're t- they're doing legislative stuff over there, so he's going to be tied up for a little bit longer. And he, he, he said recently to the press that he's not going to announce until he's finished handling business um, over there and all that lawmaking stuff. So he'll, he'll be doing that. Then we got Chris Christie, Chris, Chris Christie, um, New Jersey governor and, the uh, is he current? Yeah, I think so. And anyways, he's, he's speculated to get in. Um, I hope he does. I hope he does. And I know what you're thinking, Danny. Do you, do you want to, uh, Chris Christie to get into the race just so that you can just make fat jokes about him? No, okay, no, that's not why. Um, listen, a big, well, let's just call it what it is. A fat guy can get elected president, or fat gal. And I, listen, I I got no problem with it, in fact. And if we open our history books for a moment, you will all remember that we had a president in the early 20th century uh, that was known as Big Bill Taft, President Taft. And he was a, a heavy, big, round fella. Right, he was like Santa Claus, um, but with a veto pen. And um, anyways, Big Bill Taft actually had a custom bathtub that was built for the White House quarters, because well, I mean, how was he going to fit in the one that was in there before? And so, boom, he got his bathtub in there. He got in there, served as president. Um, as far as I know, the country didn't, um, you know, implode 
1909, 1910. I think that's that's around when it was. Although shortly after that time period, things got very, very messy, actually. But my point is, Chris Christie could be the next president. And um, as long as he's got the stamina and, you know, can handle the demands of the presidency, um, as long as he can handle it, hey, I got no problem with his health, right? If he's 50 now and he's going to die at age 65 due to, you know, poor health and being, uh, you know, over a healthy weight, what does that matter to me, right? He's only going to be president until he's 58, as long as he can do the job. Um, then I will not be making fat jokes just to take shots at him. Um, in fact, I'm not going to make any because it's so, it's so hacky. It's too easy. You know, I don't even see what's funny about it. What's funny, what's funny is, uh, Chris Christie's just overall, um, kind of like, hey, uh, you know, hey, give it to me. You get it in spades. You know, he 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 definitely does not hold back, and that's kind of his brand. And I personally would love to see that get sprinkled into the mix. Uh, the third fella, who's a current or former, I'm not sure, governor. Ohio, hailing from Ohio, which, by the way, is a state with the most elected presidents, is uh, John Ka- John Kasich, Kasich. So those are three more governors to look out for. Uh, in the meanwhile, we've got plenty, plenty to keep us occupied in the uh, 13 gentlemen and one lady, Carly Fiorina. We are definitely going to have to do a follow-up special report on her. And maybe, maybe uh, actually, you know what? Listener poll for this week. Who do you think would win in a fight? Carly Fiorina or Hillary Clinton? Hmm? I, uh, I riddle you that. I riddle you that. So, think about it. Check out presidentialspeculatainment.com. Please give me some kind of a rating on uh, iTunes. And I'll see you next time.